And good morning once again, fourth grade math masters. Here we go. Time for the problem set. Hope you enjoyed the kind shape development. Here we're gonna go, we're gonna go pages uh, nine to nine. And 100 for the 100 second day of school. Today's date, of course, is 01. <laughs> what is it? Uh, 24, 25, 26, 27. 2020. All right, here we go. See what we got going here in problem one. It says draw a tape diagram and solve. The first two tape diagrams have been done, drawn for you. Identify if the group size or the number of groups is unknown. A lot going on there. Let's find out what's going on. They've drawn this for us. Monique needs exactly four plates on each table for the banquet. There's the four. If she has 312 plates, how many tables is she able to prepare? Okay, so let's take a look. What do we uh, not know? We do not know. Um, well, let's take a look. Exactly four plates on each table for the banquet. If she has 300, well, so we do know um, uh, the number of groups is unknown. We do know that, uh, identify if the group size or the number of groups is unknown. We do not know the number of groups. So we're gonna put uh, number of groups. That's what's unknown. So four plates on each table. Let's go ahead and do the standard algorithm. 312 divided by 4. Okay, once again we have this problem. Look, there's 300. We have the 4. 3 is smaller than 4, is less than 4, so let's put our x up top there. Now we have to figure out 4 into 31, in this case 310. So let's give it a shot. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Whoops, 8's too many, so it's got to be 4 times 7. Check your multiplication chart if you don't believe me. 4 times 7 is 28. Time to subtract. Getting a little dicey here, isn't it? I think so. All right, let's see what happens. Well, I can't take eight tens away from one ten, so this is going to become a two, and this will become 11. So 11 minus eight is three, two minus two is zero. Once again, we're with the three, the four cannot go into that 30, right? So four times 70 is 280. Now we have left with 30, and we bring down the two. We're left with 32. We just reviewed that. So I know that it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32 is 8. So 4 times 8 is 32. We're at 0, 0. Let's go ahead and check this through multiplication. 78 times 4. This is math magic, right? 8 times 4 is 32. We already figured that out, right? 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3, 31. Look at that math magic at its finest. Let's go on to the next problem. Okay, it looks like uh, 2,365 books were donated to an elementary school. I'm going to circle that big number. If five classrooms shared the books, I'm going to circle five <coughs> equally, how many books <coughs> did each class receive? Excuse me. So right here, we do not know the what? The number of, uh, uh, identify if the group size, so we don't know uh, the group size in this one. That's the question mark. So let's go ahead and give this a best shot. 2,365 2, is our whole. It's being divided, our divisor is five. The five classrooms are sharing those books. Two can't be divided by five, right? This, in this case, it's 2,000. We're just gonna put a uh, X up there. So now we're stuck with 23. We all know how to count by fives by now, I hope. Five, 10, 15, 20. Oh, looks like it's four. And time to subtract. We're at 365. And five into 36. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh. Looks like it's times seven. <coughs> There's 35. We'll subtract. Uh, six minus five is one, three minus three is zero. I can't divide the one by five, so we're gonna bring down this five, right? Five times what is 15? Five, 10, 15. Five times three is 15. We subtract with zero, zero. Let's check this. We'll do 473, 473 times five to check. Look at the magic, three times five, 15, seven times five, 35 plus one is 36. 
Four times five is 20, plus the three is 23, and we are absolutely correct. Spot on. Let's go to the next one. If 1,503 kilograms of rice was packed in sacks weighing three kilograms each, how many seeds were packed? So let's start off. We're going to have to do our tape diagram. And right here, we don't know the number of uh, group size. So here comes our tape diagram. And we're going to go with, we know the whole, right? I search, should circle that, 1,503. We'll put them into three, three kilograms each, right? So I'm going to put a three here. Dot, 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 question mark, dot, dot, dot. Okay, they're trying to figure out the number of the group size, right? So we took 1,503 divided by three. I'm going to get you started, but I think you could do the rest on your own. The one can't be divided by three, so I'm going to put the X there. <coughs> Go ahead and try to figure that one out at, on your own, okay? Think about it. Take your time. I'll be there to help you in just a moment. Hope you're doing okay. Think about that. Uh, let's see what we got. We don't know the number of groups. I'm going to cross that. Okay, so uh, let's figure it out. 3 into 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So that's 3 times 5. Subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0. 1 minus... Now we're going to bring down the 0. Remember what happens here? We're kind of stuck, right? <coughs> what should we do? <coughs> I could bring the 3 down also. 3 into 3 is 1. But I'm left with that hole in the middle. See the 10's place value? So I'm just going to put a 0 there. And let's check. 501 times 3. Watch what happens. 1 times 3 is 3. There we are with the 3. 0 times 3 is 0. And 5 times 3 is 15. It all worked out just fine. Let's go ahead and flip the page over. Got two more to do. And it says, Rita, lovely Rita, made five batches of cookies. I'm going to circle the five. There were a total of 2,400 cookies. Wow. If each batch combined the same number of cookies, how many cookies were in four batches? Ooh, what do we do here? This one's kind of tough. What we don't know is the group size. That's our question. We do not know the group size. So let's make a tape diagram. And we'll do our whole. What's our whole? Our whole is 2,400. Is that correct? You bet it is. And we're putting them into five batches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? We know, um, excuse me, what we don't know is what's in here. Okay? All right? So let's see what happens. All right? We're going to take 2,400 and divide it by five. There's going to be a lot of zeros I have a feeling involved in here. So let's take, uh, we can't divide 2 by 5, so I'm going to put the x there. 5 into 24, 5, 10, 15, 20 is 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract. 4 minus 0 is 4. I can't divide 4 into 5, plus we're at the 100's place value already. So I'm going to bring down the 0. 5 into 40. Let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So it's 5 times 8 is 40. Zero, zero. Oh, what do we do now? In the ones place value, we just bring down that zero. What am I going to put up here? I've got to put something. I know 5 times 48 can equal 2,480, so I'm going to put a zero right there. Now let's do the multiplication to check. 480 times 5. Zero times 5 is zero. Eight times 5 is 40. Four times 5 is 20 plus the 4 is 24. And look, we got it right. Okay, let's go ahead and read. Every day, Sarah drives the same distance to work and back home. So to work and back home. If Sarah drives 1,500 miles in five days, how far did Sarah drive in three days? A lot going on here. Ay, yay, yay. Um, 
you know, let's go back to this problem. The question was how many cookies were in four batches. So this is the number we don't know. So if each batch was 480, how would we figure out four batches? We would take 2,400 and minus 480. Please excuse Mr. Leggett. Good review here. This is going to become a 10. Uh-oh, becomes a 9. And this becomes a... Uh, oh, this, we don't have to do anything at all, right? This is going to stay 10. All right, yeah, Mr. Leggett. Going too fast today. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 4 is 1. So there's our actual answer. 2,120 are in four batches. All right, so how many days... So let's set up what we don't know is the group size. Let's set up our tape diagram. Mr. Lake's going to read this question more carefully. The people at Eureka love to trick me. So <coughs> the total amount driven is 1,005. That's our total. Five days. One, two, three, four, and five. But look, lo and behold, we're just interested in three days. But all the information we have is for five days. So we're going to have to do a little division and then subtraction. So <coughs> 1,005 divided by five. Can one be divided by five? No way. Put our X up there. What about 10? Five, 10. That's two. Five times two is 10. Let's subtract. Zero, zero. Bring down the zero. Bring down the five. Now I know there's a zero in the tens place value, so I'm just gonna put a zero there. And then five times what is five? Five times one. So each day she's driving 201. 201 days. That equals 1,005. But we're just interested in three days. What can we do? I could do 1,005 minus 201 minus, I mean, minus 201 and 201. Let's just multiply, though. 201 times 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 times 3 is 6. So in three days, she drives 603 miles. That is our, will be our homework tonight. So what you're going to want to do is definitely place this in your binder to help you out in your homework. Thank you.